what's up everybody my name is Priya Valu esports Valorant coach and today we are here with the subject of cypher as a defense on the map fine uh, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you all the setups that I know that you can do on the uh, bind map as a cypher to stop the enemies as much as you can and then uh, get those nasty kills so we're gonna start with the a site on bind first one of the best setups that you can go for which should be your main setup uh going forward unless the enemy finds a counter for it is that we're gonna have a trap here like this very simple it goes from here to the stairs and our second trap we're gonna look at here and it goes to the lamps so this trap is basically hidden this part of it is hidden for the enemy and makes it much more difficult for them to shoot and a lot of people when they go away they don't really care about what's going on because there's so much that they have to check they have to check lamps they have to check side heaven showers so they just go in and then get caught with this trap as of our camera we're gonna go on top of this box you see this metal here you're gonna Go at the very left of that metal, jump and place your camera here. So this will be your camera vision, like this. This camera is very useful and again, because of the fact that a lot of people are so focused on these areas, it's very difficult for them to spot this camera. And you can easily gather information of what's going on on site and if the enemy doesn't destroy it, you can also use it for post plan. As of our cages, first cage we're going to use, you stand here. Next to the entrance of the lamps, you see the blocks on the ground. You see that there is one which is darker and longer than any darker uh, brick on the ground. You aim at the right of it and then you throw your catch. As simple as that. So why we are doing this lineup is because of the fact that when you pop this cage, you have this tiny little gap that you can come in and cheese the enemies to kill them like that. Or if you don't want to do that, and if the enemy goes in your trap, like you're spotting with your camera that, oh, someone's about to go on one of these traps, you can pop the cage and then start killing them once they get revealed. As of our second cage, what we're going to do, you stand in this tiny corner here inside the lamps. You see that these lamps in the uh, roof have basically, one of them doesn't have an end or few of them, but you see one of them doesn't have an end and exactly behind it is another lamp. You aim at the bottom of this lamp and go a little higher and then throw your cage. So it goes like that and beautifully lands on top of this one. So again, we have one cage here and then one cage up there. Now the way that you wanna play this is that let's say I'm playing into lamps Okay, I'm looking at the earth. I see that enemies are coming in. I see that they're about to go into a trap. I pop this one. I get my first skill. You can also, if you feel like it's a risk for you to go and peek here, and if there's an enemy that goes into this trap, what you can do is that you can crouch here and wall bang them through this wood. Wall banging through the wood only works. You cannot wall bang through this wall. It doesn't go through. And then if you see with your camera that, oh, someone is pushing me into the lamps, like this trap is broken. They're pushing me into the lamp. You pop this cage now. And as you can see, you have a beautiful one way that you can easily hold. If anyone tries to push you, you see their legs. They can't see anything. This is the enemy perspective. They cannot see anything unless they crash. And by the time they do that, you easily manage to get the first kill. So this would be your main setup for the A site bind. Now, after that, we're going to go ahead for our second main setup. So what if the enemy catches this setup? Uh, first of all, we can still change up the setup in a way that it be a little less predictable. We can change up our camera to here instead. So you look at this. You don't want your camera to look this way. This is a no-no. You want it to be here so you have full control to go left and right in your camera. Then you jump and place it. So this way, this is how your camera looks. You have full control over it. You can go move left and right. And then as of your trap, instead of you placing it this way, what you change is that you look at this bottom thing and you place it like this instead. Now, it is jumpable, yes, but since you have changed it, enemy doesn't really expect it to be this way now, and you can easily catch them off guard. As of your second trap, you can still use the same thing, but you can also, if you see like the enemy loves to go like here, loves to go in this pocket area, you can also use your trap here too. So if the enemy goes here for post plant, you again pick with those cages and manage to get the kill. Now for the third setup, what we're going to do is that we're going to have our camera be placed here. So very simple, you jump and place it on this. And this is how your vision looks. You can see short, you can see showers. As of your cages, 
you see on side that there is this white tiles you look down and put your cursor in the middle of where the white tiles meet with the dark the darker tiles and you press the cage there as of your traps we're gonna have the first trap of the last setup however the second trap is now going to be like this so you can see that it's a frame trap it can be smaller it can be longer you want it to be the longer one you don't want it to be small so you look a little higher and then it will be long like that and you place it so now the first cage is enough you can hold the second one for later on and however you like to use it now the way that this cage works so if i pop it as you can see it has two gaps here and here one thing you can do is to cheese this gap to catch the enemy kill because this is going to be the position you're gonna play and then also if the enemy goes in any of these traps you can just pop it and kill them as well while being safe so basically you play behind this box you go in your camera you see someone is about to go in the traps you pop the cage then you peek and get the kill if you want you can also use your second case so you wait for the round to uh, start you don't use it before the round after the round starts you place it on this dark uh, bar so you place it here and then when you pop it this is how it looks so if basically as you can see enemy doesn't have any room to go out of showers if they try to they get slowed they also basically uh, make a noise that oh there's so much showers so this cage would be a very good thing for you as well if you want to try to hold it and basically play for shower control and this cage is going to be essential for our next setup which is a shower setup so next one what we're gonna do we're gonna start our round by going into a heaven then we place our camera into this vents so it will be a little bit more difficult for enemies to see the camera because of this smoke and then as of the traps we're gonna have one trap like this here just like that then the cage just like i told you after the round starts you place it there and as of the second trap you have freedom to use it however you like you can use it for sight you can use it for here so if enemy tries to go there after they break the first trap you can use it like this to even catch up the enemies off guard oh there is one trap but there is a second one or you can use it like this as well it's totally your choice however you like you can use the trap and then the way that you want to play it you can play in this position you can play here or you can even also play heaven it's totally your choice so you see with your camera that oh someone is about to go into uh, the shower or someone's short and then you pop the cage this cage is very nice with this trap due to the fact that enemy won't be able to see the trap so as you can see the cage blocks the trap it's so difficult to see this trap and because of the noise of the cage it would be also even more difficult for them to hear the trap so they easily step into it and then give you a free kill for you so that will be it for your shower control passively now if you want to have shower control aggressively what you do is that you wait for the round starts and you place your camera up here just like this so you can have full information of what's going on in showers and then you can also walk up and place a trap like that so here just like that so if anyone tries to walk into the showers basically they can go like this but then they can get caught off guard by the trap they can also crouch under it but since you have your camera so you basically play in this position and you're in your camera you see that someone is trying to be cheesy and go under your cage and when they crouch and when they're not really ready for your peek you can tag them with your camera and immediately go for a peek and get that kill for yourself so that would be pretty much it for all of your a side but now let's move on to the b side so for the b side um one of the my favorite setups is that if you want to play into the shot uh, into lamps and pistol round uh, one thing that you can do is that you come here so for pistol round my favorite buy is that i go for shield low shield classic one trap two cages so what i do i place a trap into the hookah like this next to the box as simple as that you can also place it here too but if the enemy has a raise that can easily break this trap it's not really that good to place this one and then as of your camera you go on this box here you aim at this edges on the roof and then once your camera turns blue you place it as simple as that and this will be the vision of your camera the reason why this camera is very good is because of the fact that enemy has to look up and behind to break it and they will be fully exposed to the side and the um danger that they are into and then 
<coughs> as of your cages you stand here you aim at the middle of this curve at the middle of it and throw your cage just like that and it lands up there as a one way then as of your second cage you see this white uh, yellow tiles on the ground so first one second one you place a cage there just like that so then like this you have a pistol you go in your camera before the round starts so enemy doesn't hear your camera popping and when you see the enemies come in and they're about to go in your trap you pop the one way with your camera vision you don't want to go out to pop it because it will be very difficult so you pop it with your camera vision and then you crouch and you can see enemy legs well they don't see you this is the enemy vision and then also one of the enemies is going to be revealed because they went into traps so you can easily get one or two free kills for yourself now you may ask what's the second cage for okay i pop this i got few kills now enemy knows that i'm on this box i pop the second cage to either fall off if i want or if enemies are coming from long this gives me a space to be hidden from long or i can also use it aggressively so okay i got one or two kills on hookah then i pop this cage and then i go inside of it so then this way as you can see now i check my camera again and then i can keep aggressing into the enemies and get free kills for myself and that way you can easily manage to get at least two kills so that would be very nice for pistol round now you may ask why puya don't you do this um, amazing setup for gun rounds well the reason why is because on gun rounds you can easily get sprayed and wall banked and if that happens you can easily die without being effective so that's why this has a weakness on gun rounds but if you feel like the enemies won't wall bank you and if you feel confident in the setup you can definitely do it on the gun rounds too now we're gonna have a setup for full hooker control so we're gonna have a trap placed here just like this as you can see it goes from this box to here the beauty of this trap is that enemy won't be able to destroy it because they cannot see the ends of it they have to go into it so and also they cannot really crouch under it too so this trap is one of the best traps that you can use for hooker control then you wait for basically you can use your second trap uh, however you like you can place it like this you can place it uh, for falling off here or you can place it for long as well just like that very simple as of your camera you wait for the round starts you aim at the left side of this here on the white wall and once round starts you place your camera so that camera is behind this wall enemy doesn't see it but if they are smart enough they can wall bank the cam and if they know the cam spot they can destroy it but most people don't so it's a very strong camera and then you can basically see their entrance of the hookah without enemy knowing where your camera is so the way that you want to play with the setup you place a cage here and then hide on top of this thing so the enemy won't as easily see you then you go into your camera when you see the enemy is coming inside the hookah and they are around this spot what you do you pop the cage and then once they go in your trap you can easily kill them or you can tag them with the camera and kill them like that too they don't have to always go in your trap you can use the camera advantage as well so that will be it for your hookah control now we're gonna move on to the next part which is a side control so one of the best setups that you can go for side control is that first of all for your camera you go on the ledge of this hookah then you aim at here pull out your camera jump and place just like that so this camera sees the entrance of hookah sees the side and also sees the side through these gaps as well so enemy uh, doesn't really see this camera it's great to see them coming in and it's also great to use it as a post plan for yourself then what you're gonna do after that for your traps we're gonna have a trap like this very casually so when someone jumps out of hookah one of the most common plans for uh, bind is to plant it there so they jump out and they go like this to plant and they get caught they can also dodge the trap by just going to the right side but you have your camera that you can see them doing so so you don't have to really worry about it then we're gonna have another trap here so you aim at the bottom right of this uh, house tiny house and then you place it just like that this trap again is not really good against a race who goes long and uses their boom bot, but most of the time this trap is amazing then where you want to play with this setup you go into elbow and place a cage just like that 
and you hide here and go in your camera so when you see the enemies are coming in and when you see that they're about to go in one of your traps you pop this cage go in and easily catch them off guard and get the free kill however if they don't basically you can again use a camera to your own advantage and get the kill that way instead next setup what we're gonna have is a very very passive side setup that you're gonna play on site so for the camera you can use the same camera however you can also change it up like this is all the camera spots that you can use for b you can place on top of the hookah just like that so you see the information this way you can place it on top of the lung just like that so again you can see all of the information you can also jump and place it at the very edge of there this one requires a little bit of practice as a, a little difficult it requires a very good timing and then when you place it it goes like this you can see deep into hookah and you can see long through this gap as well and then the next camera which is something that i don't really like but is very common that a lot of ciphers use the reason why i don't like it is because it's common enemy a lot of people know this camera and they easily just shoot it out which is this one just like this so you can see long and you can see side but this camera easily gets shot so it's not really that good to be used and then you can use let's say i use this camera for myself then as of your traps how it's going to be you're gonna have one trap here like this and one trap to the other side like this as of your cages you go on top of the tube you place one cage at the very edge here and then second cage at the very edge here just like that and then what happens you go inside the tube and then go into your camera Okay, I see the enemies are coming in. I see that they're about to go in my traps. I pop both cages and go out of the camera and just play around my cages. I can catch a free kill like that. I can catch a kill like that. You can also wall bang them if they go in your trap. So you can wall bang both spots just like that. And also, you can use the cages to fall back as well if you feel like you're in very danger. Like let's say an enemy raised with an ult is rushing in your face. So you pop the cages. And then what you do, you can use it to go back like this. So you can go all the way back to a spawn. You can use this tiny little gap to your own advantage. You can go like this, around it, catch a kill like that, and then immediately use it to back off to the backside again. Like, you have to play smart with this setup and play only around your cages. This setup is fully reliant on your cages, and if you don't have double cage, it's not a good setup to go for. Next one, if you want to play B retake, let's say your team feels like the enemies are going to go A and you want to anchor B alone, this setup would be just for you. As of the traps, what we're going to do, we're going to have the same trap here. However, as of the second trap, we're going to have like this. Just like that. No cages are needed for this one. Then you're gonna come all the way back here and go in your camera okay i see that someone is going from long they're about to plant they go in the trap they get it spotted you start wall banging them through this glass so basically when you start wall banging it will be a free kill for yourself you already got the kill you cancel their plant and then your team is having a post plant of a 5v4 so you should be able to easily win the round now next and last setup we're gonna have is for a long setup so what if you want to control full long and you want to give enemies hookah well when you want to give enemies hookah you still want to have information of it you don't want to just give it blind so what you do is that you use the camera that i told you on the first pistol setup and as of your traps we're gonna have one trap here just like that one cage will be you look at the ground you see these white uh squares on the ground and one of them is in the middle toward you you place a cage on that now the reason why we place a cage like that is because when you pop it you see that it's more toward the enemies so if an enemy tries to push into this cage the cage basically makes the trap be a little bit more difficult to be spotted too you can also use a cage in a way like you use it around here so it'd be even more toward the enemy you can use it however you like i prefer it this way because then i have a room to play around it i can hide and hold it from here without enemy being to spot me if they go like this like they don't see me and also i can hide and play it like this and hold it from here you just want to be a rat as a cypher mainly then as of your next trap and cage what you do on surround starts you want to be very quick about this otherwise enemy destroys your trap so on surround starts you place a trap like that and a cage like that and then what you do you go in your camera in that position so here 
in this position you go in your camera okay no one is coming from hookah you spot that oh someone immediately went into your trap you immediately pop the cage go and get a free kill as simple as that and if you see that oh the enemies are pushing me from hookah and i'm about to get uh, a spotter from sight and die from sight you can pop this cage and just play around it this way so you're basically safe from sight and also long this setup is a kind of a last result setup that if you feel like you can't really hold hookah control but you can catch people off guard from long and hold it that way it's a very nice setup to go for but that was all from me for the cipher unbind i really glad uh, i really hope that you enjoyed all of this and if you have any questions just feel free to ask and that's from me until the next video goodbye